I've never seen one with a pattern like that. That is absolute. Alrighty guys, it is a wild day at the beach here. Look at this. I was planning to dive all through this little uh, inlet here today, but not a chance I am going into that. So let's see what we can find on the beach. Let's see what we can find all through these rocks here. Met a couple of subscribers here from Harvey Bay. Come to say hi and check out what they can find. This weather is just crazy. Unreal, super unexpected. So let's see what we can find. First shell of the day. Oh, there's two here actually. We got an old broken bonnet. Hopefully a whole one. Yep, sure is. If you guys have been watching the uh, last like 10 YouTube videos of shelling around this little area, you'll know there's just so many bonnets around here. It's just unbelievable. Like, is this another one? Oh, it would have been broken as. Dang. What's up, guys? Hope I didn't interrupt your shelling. Let's do some uh, surfing from the jet ski. It is a beautiful afternoon. Get ready for some excitement. Under this giant rock here, this always hides the goodies. I see a bunch. What do I grab first? Let's grab this cool zigzag scallop thing piece thing. I don't even know. Nice, I like it. Put that in my weddy. One sec. Now let me take a look. Oh, first foot in, freezing. Never usually any live critters in here, which is nice to be able to dig around through. It's just shell piles on piles. Another little zebra volute, super broken. I'll leave it. I haven't had too much luck in there recently, so I'll come around here where I have had more luck. Maybe. Let's go for it. Yes. Here we 
got it. Nice little checkered bonnet. A bit old, a bit rusted up, but that's cool. Got to be careful today. That swell is very intimidating. All right, let's come up here. Nice. I like it. It's a mission today, you really got to be careful. It might be a textile. Yes, it is. It's a super old one. Wow. That has seen some things. Huh. It's pretty cool. It's like rustic. Little bonnet shell, of course. It's like a rustic test textile. I kind of like it. It's different. It's interesting. I'll keep it. Down there, can you see it? Sitting right in the corner there. Now the other one, just above it. Can you spot it? Wow, that is nice. Oh, check that out, huh? You can have it if you want. That's yours, mate. You spotted it. Wow. You don't want it? Alrighty. That's cool, huh? That's my best one of the day so far. Yeah. Cool, eh? Have you found one before? Um, Not one of these? Not you sure you don't want it? I got plenty. Here, take it. Aww, it's all yours. Thank you. No problem. I go straight to the top shelf. <laughs> cool. We've got a bookshelf. I'm being put in the big thing. of uh, shell piles all around this little place. Just found that Curica, that was sick. I love finding Curicas and I've been really lucky with them lately. So um, we've got some subscribers here who've come down all the way from Harvey Bay. So they've never found one, so I thought they'd enjoy it more than me. They do not want to be on camera though, so that's all right. That's why I wasn't showing you guys their faces or anything, but yeah. That's the best find of the day so far. I love finding Kurikas. It's still really rough out. Wow, look at that. Just out of nowhere. Crazy. Ready?
Is this one going to be alive? I guarantee it's alive by the way it's sitting. Yep. Nice little live Arabian cowrie. Weird how he was sitting so far up. He's really dry. I think he might have been like stranded and really tired. Uh, if so, we're going to move him just down here. So if he did have eggs or anything there, which I highly doubt because it's just out in the open, uh, he'll be able to get back there if he needs to. So that's cool. Little Arabian. Oh, is that another one? But is that live? Doesn't look live. Yes, it's empty. Wow, look at that pattern. That is awesome patterns. Holy cow. How good is that? I've never seen one with a pattern like that. That is absolutely going into my uh, top finds case. That is so cool. I have a new little section of uh, Arabian cowrie shells. There's about 10 uh, all stacked next to each other. And they are all of my best ever Arabian carry shell finds. So I think this one will absolutely be going in that little pile. How cool was that? Right next to the live one here. Maybe it was like its cousin or something. That's probably like not nice to do. Uh, put a live one next to an empty shell. <sighs> that is cool. Drop a like for that one, you guys. That was awesome. That was a big surprise out of nowhere. Awesome. Let's keep searching. <laughs> through, through this little sand pile here and shell grip pile. Let's go through it. Let's go for a little dig. Urgh. Another giant ton shell piece. They are everywhere today. Arabian piece. Lots of coral. Oh, snakehead. Wow, really nice snakehead. Awesome. I'll take that. Pretty sweet. Let's head down this way a little bit more. Let's see what's stuck under some rocks. too much in there here we go here's some of the good stuff we've got brr, a juvenile or oh, not really a juvenile sub-adult snakehead so a younger version of that snakehead shell there pretty cool bit interesting bit different okay let's check it out here Got a lot of water coming, my goodness. That's kind of a freak. Uh, not really, I guess it's just growing. I'm gonna leave it right there and there for someone else. Oh, a bonnet. Look at that, that looks beautiful. There we go. Cool. Really nice condition bonnet shell. They're everywhere today, you guys. Coming up later in the video, we are going to be surfing on the back of the jet ski today. So if you guys uh, like the jet ski videos, stay tuned for that. What else can we find? Usually there's some good stuff under here. Rocks, grit. More grit. What about over here? There's a bunch of piles under this rock. Can't quite, oh, there's a bonnet shell. Urgh. Nice one. Nice one, check it bonnet shell. Definitely the best one I've found today. This one's really nice condition. I'm gonna put this one right up here for now. Very cool. And let's go for another little look down here. 
down under. What do I see down there? A lot of coral, uh, a lot of broken bits. Uh, what about here? I found my first helmet shell under here, once upon a time. Oh, we've got some water coming. What about at the front of it? I noticed like right underneath the rock around here, there's a uh, giant pile as well. Don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to that today. Let's hop in. Oh yeah, there it is. Not too much into it though. Hey, uh, oh, yeah, nice little moons now. It's a bit broken. I've been finding a good amount of these recently. They're always broken though. I'm gonna leave it up there for somebody. It's had a little strombus. Nope, old cone shell. Big old broken bonnet. Won't be keeping that, but someone might want to. Put it there. Man, it is rough today. my first time ever getting up on the board we had like six tries before that where I kept falling after like three seconds of riding and we rode all the way we rode way through there surfing on the back of it that was my first time ever let's do it again Wow. side now and check out how low it is this is incredible I've never seen this little pool so low check it out there's a ton of shells in here as well let's see what we can find little erosa but that is extremely old oh my goodness it is so nice uh, to walk in here right now the temperature outside is hot alrighty let's check it out I saw this giant carry here look at that I have no idea what sort of carry that is. I find them occasionally, very, very occasionally. Oh, look at that, never seen that before. I uh, have no idea what it's called. If you guys know, please comment down below. It is such a nice day out here today. On this side anyway, the other side was gnarly as. Wow, all the little tide pools. Oh, is that a bonnet shell? Oh, that looks scary to get to. Oh man, broken. It's a shame. I do really like this carry though. I think I'll keep it. I think it'll probably go into my collection, honestly. It's really nice. All right, let's try find an octopus around here. and 74 of the day looks old ah yep it's broken dang it oh well we'll leave it I'm sure I'll find a hundred more today so everywhere here I'm trying to find a big old octopus to say hi to I haven't seen one in a very long time
look at this. I'm only going to take this one here. I'm going to leave that, those two. Look at that. There's another one. It is pretty broken. But do you see what I mean, you guys? They're just everywhere here. Wow. That is very old. Had my wetsuit on ready. Had the fins with me and everything. I was ready to go for a big old snorkel along here. But, uh... You look at that, and not a chance I'm going in that. No, thank you. I'm still relatively new to snorkeling as well, so yeah, I'll pass. Look at this, we got another bonnet down here, stuck. Looks like a funky color, eh? Oh man, broken. It's just bonnet shell city here. Right now, there's another one. I reckon it's broken though. Yeah, it's broken, I can feel it a little bit. Giant ton piece. A lot of these ton pieces wash up in uh, winter, which is a shame. But, pretty cool. Take my walnut shell here. Anything in these little holes? Is that a zebra volute? Oh, it's actually really warm today. Arabian teeth, dang. Yeah, it's a zebra volute, big one. Pretty cool. I still don't have a shell bag. So I won't be able to keep too many shells today. Got a little white moon snail, that's pretty cool. Pretty hard to find them all white. That's nice, I like it. Oh, big bonnet shell, but it's broken as. See these high swells? I'm gonna leave that for my friends to find. Maybe they'll want it. Couple of nice ones there. What is that? What the heck? I have no clue. Some sort of vertebrae or something? I have no idea. It, it looks like bone, but it is not bone. It is very soft. Okay. I might just leave these around for other people. Fine, just like that. There we go. I might keep that though, I like that one. It's very unique. I just got no pockets to put it anywhere. It's really heavy too. It's got a bunch of stuff in it. All right, the front. This area always has some goodies. Let's take a look. Guys, I think we have a nice erosa. Woo, we sure do. First nice erosa of the day. I love finding them. When they're really nice condition, they are top stuff. Top shells to find. of the beach right now and usually I can only walk like around there because all the water will be up here but today it is 0.1 nearly negative low tide and all of this is exposed wonder what we'll find stuck this is incredible I never get to come even close to this little area I love this. I've been carrying it. I love it. I think I see another, yep, another giant live Arabian cowrie. This one is huge. I think it has eggs here. Yes, yes, I think it does. Wow. I'm positive those are uh, eggs. Let's say hello. Be very gentle with him. Wow. This thing is huge. 
Oh my goodness, no wonder it has so many eggs. It's massive. Look at it compared to my hand. Wow, I love its pattern. That front pattern is incredible. Well, we will not, definitely not be uh, moving him from that little area. Wow, bunch of eggs. That's just incredible. All right, see ya, buddy. That's insanity. You wouldn't believe what I see. Another bonnet shell. You can never get sick of these guys. They're just everywhere. They're a beautiful shell, an Australian classic. But uh, this one is pretty broken. So I'm probably gonna leave that for somebody else. We will chuck it right in the middle there so someone else can see it. We get down here. You guys know where we're at. Checkered Bonnet Bay, of course. The fan favorite. Oh. I think I just saw a little, cool little moon snail there. It's tiny, but it looks cool. Wow. Holy moly, look at that color. Is that nice or what? Absolutely. Awesome. Definitely a keeper. Getting closer to one of my favorite spots of the whole beach, the end rock. Making our way there. This, holy cow, that looks so nice. Come on. Oh my goodness. That is a beautiful cat cone. That is incredible. Definitely one of the best ones I've ever found. And these ones are harder to find. Uh, I've only found two ever. Here's a crown cone, but it's super old. That's incredible. Little bit broken here and there but nice. Drop a like for that one too. Got another little pile here. Let's check it out. Alrighty. Lots of micro shells here. Tiny ones. Nothing too crazy. I think we might move on from that. Live Hebrew cone. Big fella. Very cool. Remember guys, most Hebrew cones, if they're yellow, they are still alive. So be careful. They're not deadly. Uh, they are about as strong as a bee sting, but everyone reacts different to toxins. So you never know. So always be very careful no matter what. Right at the front here. Never get to come this far. Guys, I think I see a nice Stolida. Let's check it out. Wow, that thing is huge, and it definitely is a nice Stolita. Awesome. That is a long one. I love Stolitas. I believe their proper, like, scientific name is called Bistolita Stolita, or Supray Bistolita. I love them. Found a handful of really nice gem condition ones. It's definitely not gem, unfortunately, but it's up there. Look at this little tiny plate of coral growing. That's very cool. Tiny. Look how big it is. That's awesome. You've got a couple more of those little plates around here. See if I can find one for you. Real quick. Aha, here. See, you've got bigger plates just like this one growing around. Got another little one in there. This is a very, very healthy little uh, tide pool area. Beautiful here. To Mr. Crabs. Wow, that's a big red crab. We have hey, a nice little pectin. Nice. I love the pectin shells. Around here, the patterns just go crazy. Very nice. Let's check it out around here. Do we have not too much? I think we need to start heading down that way. The last shell finds of the day, and this one is definitely alive, I reckon. Yep. 
He's just chilling. This is like our, what, third live one today? This one is beautiful as well. They're all so different in patterns, but they're all so much beautiful, so much more beautiful than the other. They're incredible. Arabian carry. Well, you guys know we don't take live shells. So i uh, see you, buddy, and I'll leave you with a gift. Nice. <laughs> that was so cool. Tide pools. That's a wrap for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed. Imogen's left me. 